Number 75, integrated concepts. Find the radius of curvature of the path of a 25 mega electron volt proton moving perpendicularly to the 1.2 tesla field of a cyclotron. Okay, so first thing is electron volt, right? This is mega electron volt, but the base unit is electron volt. That is a unit of energy. In other words, there is a known conversion between electron volt and joules. So one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. Huh, interesting. That's also the charge, right, of a, of a proton or electron. So this one should be easy to remember, and they are definitely related. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first convert this mega electron volt into joule. All right, so we got 25 mega electron volt, mega electron volt on the bottom, electron volt on the top. There's 10 to the 6 electron volts and 1 mega electron volt. And then electron volt on the bottom, joules on the top, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules for every one. And here we go. So this is going to be 25 times 10 to the 6th, times then 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. So that works out to 4 times 10 to the 12th. 4 times 10 to the minus, sorry, to the minus 12th. And that is in joules. All right. So that's the energy. Now I have a unit I like to work with. And now we got to find the radius of curvature. All right. So uh, radius of curvature formula is over here on the right hand side. It states that the radius of curvature will be equal to the mass of the particle that is, ro you know, that is curving in a magnetic field multiplied by its tangential velocity divided by the charge it has divided by then the magnetic field it is experiencing. So we're talking about a proton. What is the uh, mass of a proton? It is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. That has to be memorized. What's the velocity of it? Ooh, we don't know. We don't know. So the question is then, how is energy connected to velocity? And you might have seen for the past couple of problems, all oh, right, through the kinetic energy, right? One half mv squared. So if you solve this thing for velocity, what you'll find is that velocity will be equal to the square root of 2 ke, two times the kinetic energy, times the mass, excuse me, divided by the mass. Okay, the square root, this whole thing is square rooted. So what we can do is now we can plug in this whole term on in for the velocity, right? So it's going to be the square root of 2 times that kinetic energy of 4 times 10 to the minus 12th. All right, 4 times 10 to the minus 12th, all then divided by the mass of that proton. So this is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th. Great. And then all divided now by the charge, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th times in that magnetic field of 1.2. All right, and here we go. So I'm going to do in the radical first, so square root of 2 times 4 times 10 to the minus 12th, divided them by 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th. Great, and then multiply that by 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. And then divide that now by, in parentheses, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th times 1.2. Close those parentheses. And we get a value of about 0 0.602, 0 0.602, and that's in terms of meters. And that takes care of that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. Please help us out by subscribing and liking. Thank you so very much. Take care.